If you're struggling through your culling and editing, you are not alone. Aftershoot and Narrative both promise AI time-saving tools, but which one is right for you? Hey, I'm Taylor, professional photographer, and today we're gonna to test both Aftershoot and Narrative to see which one stacks up for the culling and editing software. We're gonna test it with real work and real workflow. First up, we have import speed. How quickly do my images load? With Aftershoot, the import speed is decent, but it requires more processing if facial recognition is turned on. Narrative's import speed is instant, giving immediate scrollability with thumbnails read directly from RAWs on import. Now for focus, eye, and facial expression detection, which app allows me to see the finer details. Aftershoot detects eyes closed and blur, but doesn't show side-by-side -side facial crops or confidence scoring. Narrative not only automatically assesses eyes, focus, and facial expressions, but the close-up panel shows every face in a scene, letting you instantly see who blinked, who's sharp, and which image has the best expression, without clicking in. Next, we have grouping similar shots. How are burst or group shots compiled together? Aftershoot uses burst grouping, but this sometimes misfires, especially with similar lighting or poses. Narrative scene view groups photos visually by composition, subject, and angle, not just metadata, making culling truly creative-led. Now for image selection accuracy. If you've got a lot of images, how good is the software at telling you which is best? Aftershoot is praised for speed, but often misses the photos with emotional nuance. Like saying the almost tearful look within the bride's face is bad because your eyes are slightly closed. That means that photographers still need to manually check for those photos that Aftershoot dismisses, and sometimes even have to go back through to ensure the right photos have been picked, which only adds more time to the process. Narrative is focused on giving you all the information, not automated decisions by AI. You're in creative control the whole way and have freedom to say, no, actually, I like that photo, despite what the AI says. Let's get into editing. How is the quality of the edits? Aftershoot's edit uses AI training based on Lightroom edits, with some users reporting around 65% first pass accuracy. With Narrative, you have over 80% first pass accuracy, and it doesn't just mimic your edit. It builds a personalized AI model that improves with every time you make a significant change in Lightroom. It's also training on your real world style, not a generic preset guess. Both offer style trained editing, but Narrative is more seamless with its Lightroom integration and interactive learning built in. All right, so the results are in, and here is the official scoring. As you can see, Aftershoot has its positives, but often it overselects or misses those emotional moments that you then have to go back and find later on. Narrative strikes a smarter balance with precise AI assistance and creative control the whole way through. It's faster to cull, it's more dependable in selects, and it integrates seamlessly with Lightroom. Aftershoot puts your work on autopilot, whereas Narrative keeps you in the driver's seat the whole way through. Try Narrative free in the link below, and I'll see you next time.